When you look at your years as governor, I think it's fair to say that at one point or another, you angered just about everyone. <laughs> That's true. The left, the right, the business community, environmentalists, property rights advocates, doctors, <laughs> health insurers. Was that by design? No. I said what I thought. And it was refreshing. I'm not actually sure I ever could have gotten elected governor because uh, I said what I thought. I didn't make campaign promises for the sake of telling people what they wanted to hear. I, I was a lot like Snelling in that way. It's one of the reasons I like Snelling so much. I mean, Snelling basically said what he thought was right, and he did what he thought was right. He certainly made his own party mad, too. He showed impatience, unbridled candor. It gets you a long way, but it also gets you in trouble. The rest of the staff would wince a lot at some of the things the governor would say, but he believed them deeply. It's, he, you know, if he said something, he meant it. And I think that played very well with the public, and I was among some who tried not to edit him too much. I thought that was a better place for him to be. And people did like it. People really do like it when you say what you think and when you do what you think is right. And they'll forgive you if you're wrong, if they think you're wrong, if they believe you're doing it for principled reasons. And I am a reasonably principled person, and I almost always, sometimes I didn't do the right thing. Sometimes I said things I most certainly shouldn't have said. The fact is that you cannot be a good governor without unbelievable staff, which I was lucky to have. Um, throughout my time. I think part of the reason was that I gave them a lot of rum and I listened to them. Yes, I'd put up a big fight. I remember one of my memories is when we had to extend the sales tax, I was absolutely against doing it, but the numbers were terrible. The budget was in much worse shape than we thought. Snelling had raised the sales tax and it was due to sunset and all of a sudden all six of the most senior people in the office came in and sat in my office unscheduled and I thought, oh hell. And I learned over the years that when all six of them came in, I was in for a rough time. We had to fight for two days, but they finally made me say uncle and admit that we had to raise the sales tax. The only time I ever called a special session. So I, even though I was, I'm a stubborn guy and I have you know, things that I believe in firmly, uh, I did listen to my staff. And the fact that I was willing to respect them as human beings and not think I was a, a, a bigger deal than they, um, I think really made the governorship a success. Not so much because of me, but because of them. He's very good very good at analyzing, stepping back and looking. He sometimes, I mean, sometimes he jumps too quickly at, but that was a very interesting combination of traits with him. He cares passionately about his issues. He can get worked up, um, you know, some of his uh, tougher conversations with lawmakers he doesn't agree with are kind of legendary. Uh, he was a very intense person. 